Teenagers are more at risk for dating related violence and often the signs that something is wrong are hard to see. It's just really staggering I think to realize that often parents have no idea that this is happening to their own child. Good evening once again to you. Thanks for joining us here on the Z this Sunday. I'm David Oliver. Color 10's Francis Lynn spoke to a survivor at the Victim Center about the dangers that teenagers face in a relationship. We want to let you know this next story of survivors may be triggering for some and uncomfortable for some viewers. It's Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. Past victims and the Victim Center spoke out about some red flags teenagers should look out for that they may think is normal during a relationship. The first time I had sex, actually, I was raped and I was 17. Taylor Cook is a survivor. Had no clue what was going on. I don't remember leaving. I don't remember getting there. Um, very spotty. I definitely don't remember it happening. I kind of just woke up in the middle of it. Teens who experience, who experience these types of crimes are much more at risk than later in life to experience additional victimizations. The Victim Center's Brandy Bartell gives some examples of red flags teenagers should look out for. The perpetrator of the violence will oftentimes try and control or gain power over the victim. Like if someone's pressuring you to be in contact with them and know where you are at all times. If the teen suddenly drops out of things that they previously really enjoyed. Bartel says usually the perpetrator is someone the victim knows. In my case, it was two people that I knew, um, both people I had been talking to or was in close proximity with. You're a bad person is something that offenders often say to victims. The way that affected me was I blamed myself for a while until I finally went to college and had a class that taught me about that stuff. And then I, it really affected me and changed my life completely because I learned the definition of rape and sexual assault. I thought about my own experience and I was like, oh, that's not my fault at all. That's completely the opposite of my fault. Bartel says oftentimes parents have no idea this is happening to their own child, so it's crucial to talk to them and make sure they're safe. Francis Lynn Ozarks first. There is, by the way, a national sexual assault hotline. If you ever need some help, the number is here on your screen right now. It's 1-800-656-HOPE. It's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week.